Hello everyone out in YouTube land. It's your girl, Lily, back again with another video. As you saw from the title, we are going to go through my little bit of denim that I've accumulated. I'm a blue jeans lover. I, I just love blue jeans, period. But the denim collection is, yeah, not the new one, like the older denim collection. I don't have anything from the, the newer collection, but yeah, let's just jump right in. So you can see right here, I've got two Louis Vuitton shawls, and these are um, the denim shawls. This one, of course, is in black, if you can tell. They're so warm, so warm. Sometimes they're too warm. I got this one from an eBay seller for like $369. And then I have the blue, which is beautiful because blue is my favorite color. Now, I got this one on a trip to Italy and I can't remember because it was a whole euro thing versus the US dollar conversion. I don't remember bottom line. But yeah, the blue one. I got the blue one first. Wish I had gotten black because I went back and I didn't want to pay full price for it here in the States. So I got on eBay and found a woman who was selling hers. So I ended up getting the black, but I wish I had gotten black first because it goes with absolutely everything. And the blue, although it's my favorite color and I love it, there are just some outfits when I would wear like a black trench coat or something like that, like a raincoat. I didn't necessarily like the blue with the black. I would rather have black. So that's how I have two of them. Not that I'm complaining because I just needed an excuse for another one. No, kidding. Then we have this little mini notebook from Louis Vuitton and I purchased this off of a Facebook group for like 169 bucks. So yeah, just this little guy. And then I actually got on Amazon and got a little notebook, um, just with blank pages and some lined pages, but it just fits right in there. And this is, I think it's like three and a half by four and a quarter or something like that. But just, just a small little piece. The next piece would be my denim clay, which I love in the interior of this is also the saffron mustardy color leather, but I love the clay. It's just the size of a normal clay. This is the Amelia wallet. I got this off eBay guys for like uh, $209 from one of the Japanese power sellers. I love them. I love them and I need to stay off eBay. This is a Facebook group purchase. This is the Amelia and $550 is what I paid for her because her condition is like beautiful, but it's like so, so spacious. I mean, this is one of those wallets that your hand goes all the way down there and a bunch of card slots. Yeah, I, I love this piece because I love denim. So. That's another piece. And then I've got this puppy. So this is the Ray, the Truce, if I'm saying it right. I, probably not. I'm not French. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> the Denim Truce Ray, or Ray, or whatever. But yeah, so I had to have this piece. I've been eyeing this piece up forever. Once again, I have a little insert in here to preserve the interior, but the saffron color inside, and it's the, the microfiber or the Alcantara lining. I wanted this thing forever, but they're so pricey. And this was an eBay purchase from a private seller. She had 450 or best offer. I'm like, whoa, okay. Because if you know anything about this, that is like kind of like at the low end but I mean it came with a full set I'm talking dust bag box tags everything so I I made an offer of four and a quarter and she accepted it and I was excited like wow got it finally but then when I received it I mean the condition is like so so good I thought too good to be true so I had it authenticated and it's authentic, but I, I believed it was authentic from the time I opened it, but I just kept in the back of my mind, like you got that thing for four and a quarter. They never go for four and a quarter, 
but I can't say that I'm love, love, loving it because like a lot of times we see these pieces, I go to YouTube so I can try to get a feel for a piece. And I've mentioned this before. It's like, I haven't seen it, it's vintage, it's no longer, you know, whatever. I try to get a feel for what size it is by looking at it in your hand, looking at, you know, what's inside and stuff like that. So I thought this was gonna be this size, the size of a mini pochette. I really did. That's what I expected, that's what I wanted. This is a little larger, you know what I mean? And for that reason, I know I suck right now, but for that reason, I'm not like absolutely head over heels in love with it. Cause I just thought it was gonna be smaller. It's adorable, but I, you know, I just thought it was gonna be smaller. But at any rate, this denim piece, but I just had this out for reference, size reference. So that's that. And then I have these in the denim, are my espadrilles. Love these, I've had these for at least three years now. But yeah, I love these. And for me, they're true to size. This is a seven and a half in, or 37 and a half, whatever. But I, I wear like a seven and a half, so yeah. The denim espadrille. Love, love, love it. I love everything denim. Then we have, in the way of purses, I've got the baggy in the GM size. So I got this baby on eBay. I'm telling you, eBay is like my best friend, but it's like, oh my gosh, my worst enemy because it steals all my money. Um, this I got for three fifty, I think, somewhere around there. But we'll stand up and give you a little gander at that. This is the baggy and the GM size. There is wear to the top here, and I guess this is where they wear quickly up here because the weight in the bag and the way the leather is attached to the cotton denim material. But yeah, don't care. It's like a, a worn denim piece. And then the Alcantara lining in the saffron color again. But I, I really like this bag. This is a cutie for like 350 bucks. So I like this bag. I don't like all my bags. Who am I kidding? And then you've seen this before, guys, but it's part of the collection. And it is the denim camera bag. This one I love, 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 love. And this is my crossbody baby. And I think this was... Oh man, now I'm forgetting, but 13 or 13.50 or somewhere in there. I mentioned in another video, but still um, a great price for great condition. If this is the bag you're wanting. So we have that guy. And then this is my baby, my baby. Oh. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. 30 denim patch work. So, I love this denim luggage tag. It's like too cute. But this is it. Pockets are real and usable, but they're just random, you know what I mean? Pieces or whatever. I love that there's just a single chap on the bottom hanging out. The zipper pocket. Has this pretty floral color as does the interior I keep my bag stuffed let's show you the interior it's just a pretty floral color but I keep them stuffed and unzipped unsnapped I never like completely close them up anything wallets or anything zippers are always undone um, wallets are never like snapped I like them to be open and airy is what I'm thinking but this is my baby. My son and I call this the 
what the because there are a what the lebron sneakers my son is a sneaker head and the sneaker has different i don't know just different patches not patches patches but i i can't describe it because i'm not a sneaker head but they're the what the lebrons and this is the what the louis bag so my son came up with that and he one time we went to a exhibition in um beverly hills louis vuitton and when we were planning the trip out to LA to visit my son, he says, you know, why don't you bring the what the bag? And I'm glad I did because so many people admired that bag from client advisors walking, oh, nice bag. And you know what I mean? And one lady from Germany approached me and she's like, I have that in the black denim. Can I look at that? What's the inside look like? And I showed her and whatnot. And we were talking about, you know, the bag or whatever. So, but yeah, this is, this is one of my babies right here. This is like when you talk about um, staying in your collection. This is this is one of those pieces. But that is my Louis Vuitton denim collection. And I thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me for a little bit. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you would. And I will see you in the next video. As a matter of fact, after this video, I think I'm going to do a haul video. I've never done one of those. My daughter and I did a little girls trip and I purchased a couple of things. So I am going to do a video on that. So you'll see me back in the same old thing that I have on. And if anybody's wanting to know, this is just a um, Basquiat t-shirt that my daughter actually picked up when we were in Japan. And this is before I knew anything about Mr. Basquiat. And later on, when I started telling her, like, oh, I got this little Basquiat purse. She's like, I got a shirt. Do you want it? I just, like, never wore it. I picked it up when we were in Japan. I like it. So that's what I have on today. With, of course, a pair of American Eagle jeans. I love American Eagle. I wear, like, a size 8. I'm probably 135, 140. I'm 5'3" and they fit me so well like no gap back here you know what i mean i just love an american eagle jean i've had other jeans and you know what i'm saying but i'm talking like higher end jeans and what have you but american eagle is where it's at for me but with that being said i'm gonna blow this pop stand so i can go and gather stuff up to do another video so guys once again thank you that's my time and i will see you like shortly because i'm making another video thank you bye